It can be adjusted to get that ball brighter, but I'm just saying it's just barely lit right now. Barely lit. But I can get it much brighter, and this will run. Okay, check this down. It will run at 2.4 megahertz, I think it is. And I'll get a lot better output. But I'm just saying that this one area right there. Oh, 2.2 come on. Ah, you son of a gun. I'm just saying this area right here. That's the output. Yeah, it affects this camera if you get too close. Now here, you got all, this is up to 25 megahertz. You can see all the upper frequencies. As uh, this core is generating the off, off uh, resonance signals. These are just multiples of the main. Those a 1.1 should be about here. It is 1. It says 1.1. So I'm just saying here's one. Here's the main one here, but there is a secondary one. I'm sure. I think this is probably it. 153 kilohertz. And if we go back to this, here's the same thing at 1.1. So, 60, 30. Here's the one peak. You have to find which one uh, your core uses. But this one, just a standard TV core I dug up. This one's at 1.1, but it, like I said, it'll also resonate at 2.5 which happens to be oh maybe it's 2.15 it's in that area 2.2 that one will start coming around but not so much these other ones 3.27 this one's at 4.35 those will be there but not as high as the 2.2 uh, megahertz in that area so See, you've got a better bulb. 2.4. I can raise the voltage on this. If it doesn't crap out. That's not a bad looking ball for uh, that thing. It's a... Uh, that's almost a uh, doubling, that's over a doubling of the amperage going in. I don't know how this reads, if that's amperage or what that is. Field strength, mag field. You can kick up the voltage, 2.6. Okay, that's about where it peaks out at. You can't only go so far with this, and then it starts fighting back. That's why I've got this on here. I'm trying to get as much as I can in there. We are at uh, still about 3 volts input. Digital meters. This is a uh, 1 megahertz, etc. Signal coming off of these going into that. Digital meters don't work unless you got one that can handle 1 megahertz. I don't. So I use an analog meter. It gives me my best idea how much is going in there I'm trying to keep the input down so I can shove more of that into it so that's what we got there's a ball that's that 14 watt 120 ohm load if I put a really big ball on here this thing will peak it's almost peaked now from where I've seen it so there you go 
If you want to mess with cores, uh, this thing has got all sorts of frequencies. But this, where it's setting right now, is the lowest current, the lowest voltage. I'm going to bring that back down to 18. The 18 volt, 1 amp, 2.4. You can only go shove so much into it and there's a blockage in there somewhere. See the bulb's dimmer. I bring the voltage up. 23 volts. It's brighter. Bring it back down. So I'm just saying this is my setup. These are resonant feedback. As soon as this core starts oscillating when it takes off, which you can tell by that radio, if you got an AM radio, you can just off frequency or shut down. That's what you get. As soon as it starts resonating, you know, there's nothing on there. As soon as it starts resonating, Eighteen volts, half amp. So there you go. That's the best uh, I've gotten out of the thing yet. That's the highest output I've gotten, and the lowest on the core on the input uh, voltage and current going into the amp. That's a 1.6 megahertz amp uh, maximum. Really falls off around 1.4 megahertz, but that uh, it'll do 1.6 megahertz. Don't really need the big heat sink. I added that on for experimentation because this thing did run hot, and I've got a fan on the back, and it's not really needed at these voltages and currents. So that's. That's an input on what's going on with this. Yeah, the core or my input. I've got a dipole set up. One's, one's the ground, one's the hot wire. Coming off the amp. Going into the core. It's the only one's resonating this core. I've got a capacitor across the 50 turn. There's a 50 turn underneath this 15. Here's, I tried for 150 turns, but I got 75 and 68 out of it. This has to be in a certain spot to really detect all that's coming out. You can move it over. I mean, it can be adjusted. But for, uh, see exactly where it's coming or how high it is. It can be adjusted. Got mine on a stand. Got it raised up. So that's, uh, yeah, off my uh, diagram, uh, that's how my setup is. I eliminated the inductor on the input because I got more output without it. So there you go.